Hi, I'm Rachel Conti. I'm on secondment at the Greater London Authority as the Senior Air Quality Officer. My main role here is to work with colleagues here at the GLA and at Transport for London to write the air quality strategy for London. The scope of the air quality strategy is all-encompassing, so at the moment I'm working with colleagues at Transport for London to look at transport pollutant sources, but also I'm working with London boroughs and people in health teams to look at non transport pollutant sources, so from buildings, working with planners and developers, so it's quite a wide scope at the moment. Another thing I'm working on at the moment is the Olympics, obviously there's a lot of attention on London 2012 when the Olympics is um, up and running, but also I'll be working on the legacy which is the development after the Olympics, and so there are a lot of issues that I can see coming forward that we still need to work on there. One of the best things I think about my job at the moment is that I'm really feeling like I'm doing something for London, you know, improving London's health, as it were, and it's really good to be able to work with such a variety of people who are committed to their jobs and committed to improving London in that respect. I knew that I always wanted to work in the environmental field, so even from like GCSE stage, I knew the path that I had to do to get there, so I did, um, you know, uni degree at UCL and then I did a master's specialising in more environmental stuff at Imperial and then from there I worked um, very funnily at uh, the environment agency for six months filming sewage so completely different to where I am today. I don't actually have any hard and fast rules for what you would do if you wanted to get into the air quality world. I kind of fell into it and was very lucky with the opportunities I was given. But one thing I would definitely recommend is that you obviously would need to have a university degree and given the economic conditions now, a master's degree would also be um, very helpful. And then really it's a case of getting out there and really trying to be a self-promoter and you know, if you want to start work in the environmental consultancy field then maybe try and do some voluntary work over some holidays just to see if you actually like that kind of work. One of the work experience things I did was I was lucky enough to work at London City Airport alongside the environment manager there. It gave me a very good opportunity to see how a business, an airport, actually dealt with environmental issues. So that would be an example of how people were interested in getting into the field, do some experience. So here I am working on the London Air Quality Strategy, but before that I was lucky enough to go to Hong Kong for its comments three months and that she was working with the Hong Kong government on the air quality strategy over there. So there is opportunities for working in different international countries because it's an pro urban problem and so the, you know, the environmental skills and knowledge that you have here are transferable elsewhere.